This is Justin Garlow with Ford Office Technologies, here to talk to you a little bit today about copier services contracts. They're pretty standard when it comes to your office equipment. You've just made an investment, whether that's a purchase or a lease, you expect advice to keep running for the foreseeable future. With the changing environment, there are a few things that you should pay attention to. Let's first start with what all's included in your services agreement. Parts, labor, toner, and supplies should all be included into that monthly payment. That monthly payment is factored based on two different things. One, your volume. The higher the volume, the lower the cost per print. Same thing on the size of the device. The larger the device, the more efficiently it runs, the lower the cost per print. Smaller devices have a lower acquisition cost, but typically a higher servicing cost. Things to pay attention to when signing agreements. Customer replaceable parts. These are parts that the customer has to replace themselves. Whether it be a screw or a few pieces that need to be removed, they can take up some time. And that's something to think about whenever you're signing a new agreement. Additional click charges for scans are another thing that we've seen come up recently. Scans should be included at no additional charge into any services agreement. Another thing we've noticed are huge annual jumps in service charges, as much as 25%. Make sure these are discussed and agreed to before signing any copier services agreement. The service contracts typically don't cover damage outside of normal usage. If a tray is left open and kicked by an employee and broken, that is not included in the service contract. Freight and shipping charges are also not included. Toner, parts, things like that when shipped to the customer's location can incur an additional bill. Not a big deal if it's just one toner a quarter, one toner a year, but whenever you start to order multiple toners, multiple parts, and those customer replaceable units that are shipped directly to you, those can add to those charges as well. Lastly, IT connectivity. If your device falls off the network, it might be your responsibility to get that device up and working again. Uh, call your services vendor, see if it's something on their end. If it's not, it will be the customer's responsibility as IT networks fall outside of the copier services scope. This has been Justin Garlow with Ford Office Technologies. Thank you for your time.